Hello, hello. How are you guys? It's Robin John and Rosenhouse. Welcome to your daily energy report. It is Wednesday, March 23rd, 2022. You know the deal. We're going to listen to a little bit of music while I um, cue up my share. Today we're listening to, um, I'm not, uh, what is it? My Shot from uh, Hamilton. I love this song because it, I don't know, man, it just, it just reminds me like when I start feeling off and I start feeling bad about myself, it reminds me that this is my shot, right? At whatever it is, this is my shot and, and I'm not gonna friggin' throw it away. So, just a little bit of background on why that's meaningful to me, if anybody cares. <laughs> But maybe it'll help you too. All right, so let's turn this off and get started. Okay, man, I, I love that song. Okay, so today, we titled today, um, I think it was Take Time for Healing, you know, and so here's the deal for today. Um, it, it's important for you to grab a little bit, it doesn't have to be a lot, but grab some alone time today. Um, you know, it's it's interesting. I, I was I was talking to somebody earlier. I'm I'm really not a not surprised to see these cards. Um, I, I I was talking to somebody earlier, and um, you know, there was somebody who was like having this a, a little bit of of a hard time getting something done, and we were talking about you know, uh, how they could get aligned with taking the required actions that are not natural to them so that they can get it done, get it done efficiently, get it done effectively, right? And get it done with much less resistance. And um, the way that it came through, I, I don't want to get too, too specific, but it required time alone, right? It, it required time alone and it required time alone in, uh, in a space that is sacred to them. And so here we are, like we're, and, and so wait, and so the, the reason for that was, is it would help to like align them in a way and help them to heal a little bit more so that they're, I, I don't want to say emotionally triggered, um, because I don't feel like it's, it's that strong. Uh, you know, you can, you can have an emotional response without it being a trigger, right? Like, and, and that's the thing in this case as well. It's like, there's an emotional response to the action that needed to be taken. And by changing location and going into that sacred space, it changes the energy associated with that action so that the negative impact from previous experiences of carrying out that action start to heal. And so that's what we're looking for for you today. So to give you a practical, you know, example, since I don't, you know, want to share personal information for a client, right? A, a, a practical example of that is um, something that I do when, when I don't feel like getting on the exercise bike and, and I don't feel like walking around the neighborhood. Um, I know that I always enjoy a visit to the park that's down the road from me. I always enjoy walking by the lake. I enjoy, you know, especially in the spring when the ducks and the geese are there and, and all of that. And people are usually walking their dogs and um, depending on the weather, we'll see snakes, we'll see chipmunks and all these different things. And so what that does is, is the walk for exercise now becomes a stroll by the lake. Uh, it becomes, you know, let me go and be with my trees. Let me go and, 
you know, connect with the earth in a way that um, helps me to feel nurtured. And the side effect is I'm taking a walk. So I'm getting that movement in. So that's like what a practical example of this looks like. And so now, instead of beating myself up, right, I'm by myself, I'm treating myself with kindness, and I'm carrying out the necessary actions, which allows things to heal. And it really, really works. I mean, uh, again, sticking with me, um, what happens is, the more I do that, the more it shifts my perspective about the walk and this and that. And now there's a lot of mornings where it's like, okay, I don't feel like riding the bike. Um, I want to be outside. It's too early to go to the park. So, okay, I'll walk around the neighborhood. And, you know, my neighborhood's a little bit older, so there's some trees and I live and, and I live walking distance to Main Street, and so I can go up into town and check things out over there, or I can walk over to where the courthouse is, and there's a nice little green over there, and there's all these side streets, right? Previously, that was work, but now I can see it as, oh, let me just go take a stroll and, you know, and see what's going on in the neighborhood. So this is the energy for you today. It's, it's looking at the things that you need to get done that you would normally resist and, and beat yourself up over for. You know, it's like, oh, I know it's not that hard. I know it's not gonna take me that long. Why do I hate this so much, you know? Um, another thing that, that I do when I have clients do, you know, things like who the heck wants to clean their bathroom, right? Like who wants to do that? So you got, you know, the thing is you got to change the environment in between your ears, right? That's what releases the resistance. And that's what gives you the opportunity to, to heal the resistance, to release the resistance, to make things so much easier for you. And so, you know, when I got to clean the bathroom and I really don't want to clean that. <laughs> I don't know anybody who likes that. There are probably people who like it. I don't know anybody who does. Well, so what do you do, right? Well, what works for you? Like what, what can you do that is a pleasurable experience that you can do simultaneously with bathroom cleaning? So for me, you know, it's literally changing the environment in between my ears. So I plop my headphones on and I'll either pick out a short podcast or I will um, look up one of, one of my trainings and I'll, I'll grab a snippet and I'll listen to that. Um, if I'm feeling really, really, really demotivated, <laughs> which is typical, um, I will turn on music, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to throw away my shot. You know what? Why does cleaning the bathroom have to do with achieving goals, dreams, and desires? Well, you know, a couple of things, and this all depends on what your negative uh, self-talk is, but you know, every time I look at the bathroom and I see, you know, the shower doors need to be done or the toilet needs to be done or something like that needs to be done, it brings me down because it's like, I really need to get in there and do this. I really need, you know, and like right now, our, our shower needs to be done. I haven't made it a priority at all. But I know also that every time I look at it, it's like, I got to do that. I got to do that. I got to do that. And it, it eats away. It eats away at your motivation. It eats away at your willpower. It eats away at your confidence. It eats away at your self-trust, right? So you can look at it and say, you know what? It's just not a priority right now. Like, what am I making this mean? You know, oh, dirty shower. What is it making me mean? What, what am, you know, what, like, what is it saying about me? What is it, what? What does a dirty shower mean about me, right? So start shifting, you know, what's in between your ears um, 
by giving it a new meaning, right? Um, you know, like for a while, at one time, it meant uh, my body, I just couldn't do it. I just could not do it. And then I started keeping up with it. And that meant, oh, my body's healing. But right now, it doesn't mean that I'm lazy, right? Because that's what it used to mean to me years ago. Right now, what it means to me is my schedule is booked. My schedule is booked. And by the time I get to the end of the day, like I could either, you know, pay attention to some other things that are self-care or I could clean the shower, you know, and it's just not making a priority. You know, the toilet's another, another situation, but, um, <laughs> that I, that I, I do way more often, but, um, like today, it, 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 this is where you want to spend your time, right? Taking time and sitting down and looking again at the things that you haven't gotten done. What's the meaning that you're giving it? Like, what, what does it mean about you? What does it mean about you that um, you're ordering in instead of cooking dinner tonight? What does it mean about you because y your shower doors are dirty? What does it mean about you because you have to get admin work done for your business and you're not doing it? Find that negative meaning and then look. Remember, everything is created as a whole. So you have that negative meaning, but that, so that means there's also a positive that exists. So what is the positive that also exists? Right, and so back in the time where like I physically just couldn't do it, right? It was, what, what did it mean? It meant, you know what? I've still got a lot of healing to do. My body is still holding a lot of trauma and I'm doing it and I'm doing the healing and I'm, and I'm releasing the trauma, but this is simply a sign that my body is still holding trauma. So although I couldn't turn that into a complete, oh, you know, Pollyanna positive, I was able to remove the negative charge and make it neutral. Like that's all. That, like that, that is the key. You don't want to turn around and, and like I said, try to you know, become like, create this toxic positivity, right? Because you still need time to process emotions. You still need time to, to feel your emotions. You still need time to acknowledge what's going on. And so even though a positive exists, you know, somebody passes away, it's not like you're going to sit there and go, well, you know, we had a good life together, so I'm not going to grieve, you know? It's like you can acknowledge that you had a good life together, but you still need to process the grief, right? So I'm not telling you, like, to just override how you're feeling, just remember, your, your feelings are valid, your emotions are valid, and most of the time they lie, right? But that doesn't mean that you don't get to process them in whatever way works for you, right? Um, you just want to try not to ruminate, and you want to do the best you can to process them as quickly as you can, right? Without overriding too much. And so, you know, again, today, like anywhere where you feel like you are falling short on getting, getting something done, of course, I'm going to tell you the best way to do this is to grab your journal, but you don't have to, especially if you're good at running through the stuff in your head, but keep digging until you find like what it is that not getting something done, not doing something means about you. Because here's the thing, 
a lot of times the consequences aren't enough. So I, you know, I've been overweight for all these years and everything. And the last time I successfully lost weight was eight years ago, six years ago, something like that. I had lost 50 pounds. Um, did it in a, in a really painful way to my body and, and all that kind of stuff and ended up putting the 50 pack pack on plus I think another 30. So that didn't really work. So truly successfully the last time I was 25, it was right before I had my, uh, my son. I was 25. I got to enjoy it for a little while. Uh, my son is 30. So I think I got to enjoy it for what? two years <laughs> before I got pregnant. Anyway, I understand the consequences of being in a body my size. I was living the consequences, for example, not being able to clean the shower, right? Um, a lot of things I couldn't do because my body was so in so much pain. And in addition to being overweight, it was ridiculously inflamed. So I was living the consequences. It wasn't enough to change things. What changed things was my desire to start being kinder to myself. And I noticed that this is what happens with my clients. It's the, it becomes that the decision starts with, I'm just going to start being a little kinder to myself. I'm just going to start, you know, treating myself a little bit better. And so then what happens is, okay, what does not being able, what, you know, what is the meaning I'm giving to not being able to lose weight and stick to a plan and all this kind of stuff? And for me, it was, I suck. Like that was the meaning I made about me. I suck. And you know what? That broke my heart. That broke my heart more than, um, not being able to be a contribution around the house the way, the way I wanted it to be, not feeling good in my body, really being in a lot of pain, being really uncomfortable while I was sleeping even, right? Not being able to hug David properly, not being able to bend down and pick Izzy up properly. The fact that I was being just so unkind to myself is what helped the ship make the shift. It was like, I'm not that bad of a person. I can't possibly suck. And so every choice became, what can I do that will help me to feel less like I suck? Baby steps, right? Wasn't, it wasn't, what can I do that will help me to love myself? What can I do that will help me to like myself? It was, what can I do to make me feel like I suck less? And they add up. And that is the type of thing, again, that you're looking for today, right? If you, you may be able to create a positive, um, an immediate positive from uh, what you're doing, right? Like I said, you know, cleaning the bathroom, I put my headphones in, I put on music, I listen to podcasts, I listen to a training, right? I, I, I did that yesterday. I wanted to clean up the house a little bit, stuck my headphones in. Anytime I need to do something, I stick my headphones in so that I can change the environment in between my ears. And so... You know, and so for you, if you are not in that space where that works for you and you're not in that space where what does a sh dirty shower mean, you know, about me, you know, or what is, you know, what am I making this mean? And, uh, and it's like, wow, you know, the work that I've been doing, it's working. My, my intention and goal of having a six month waiting list, it's working. I'm gaining traction. I'm too busy right now to deal with the shower. So the shower is going to wait. That's really cool. You might not be there. 
what meaning can I give the dirty shower that, you know, what can I say about this dirty shower that's going to make me feel like I suck less? And figure out what that is for you. All of that will help release the resistance. And the release of the resistance and getting things to neutral is where the healing occurs. So what can I do that will make, make me feel like I suck less? Dirty shower. You know, body's big, blah, blah, blah. And all it is is, you know what? I just haven't figured out what's meaningful enough to me yet that will result in me being able to clean the shower. That's all. You acknowledge your progress. You acknowledge that you're working on moving forward. You acknowledge all of that. And you feel like you suck just a little bit less. And you start getting really good at it. So. I hope that was really helpful for you. I hope that you can find your way to start, you know, shifting the environment in between your ears so that you can start feeling like you can be nice to yourself. You can be kind to yourself. You can start getting the things done that you want to get done. You can start feeling like you suck, suck less. You can start trusting yourself more. Because all of that is going to improve your quality of life. I've seen it happen countless times. Countless times. Every single client who has made that shift has had quantum leaps in their life. It starts in how you think about it. If you can change the way you think about something, it's a million times easier to change your actions. So if you've been thinking about booking in with me for help with that, I need you to know I have nothing before April 5th. I'm completely booked between now and April 5th. So with the way my calendar has been running lately, Get on it. Reach out to me. I'll give you the calendar link. It's a complimentary conversation. I'll see how I can help you. I may or may not offer a service to you. It may or may not be appropriate. And you get to choose if it's right for you or not. I'm not going to sit here and, and tell you you have to mortgage your house so that you can afford to work with me because I know and I trust things enough to know that if you have to do something like that and it's not something you want to do, you are not going to get what you need from me. Get on my calendar. Let's see how I can help you move forward. I really, 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 I want to see you improve your quality of life. I want to see you make the quantum leap if that's what you want. It begins with a decision and it begins with an, an action of reaching out to me via DM and asking me for my calendar link. Okay? All right. That's what I have for you today, Wednesday, March 23rd, 2022. And remember, whenever you watch this, the energy is relevant for you that day because all energy is available all the time, anytime, 365, 24-7. It already all exists. This is just what's dominant right now for you. This is Robin Jana Rosenhaus. Have a phenomenal day. Remember, when you align your energy, you accelerate your results. Bye for now.